She's a member of voice acting royalty. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Grey Delisle voice roles. Well, looks like it's just us, all alone. For this list, we're paying tribute to some of the most memorable characters that highlight the acting capabilities of the voice actress, who also goes by Grey Griffin, whether they're crazy, caring, or just plain scary. While she may have the talent to perform multiple characters at once, we're only looking at one role per franchise, TV, movies, or video games. Okay, this is getting boring. Let's go torture the Grim Reaper. Okay. Number 10, Kitty Catswell, Tough Puppy. I still can't believe you dove through a wall of flames to save the Chief's corn nuts. When bad guys run amok, it takes the best secret agent in Petropolis to bring them down. If only she didn't have a dim-witted partner slowing her down. Meet Kitty Catswell, the tough agent with nine lives and ten claws, and arguably the most stable one in the agency. Look, this is supposed to be a secret, but I've got something that can help you. We say arguably because she does have a temper from time to time, especially when she and her partner, Dudley Puppy, are fighting like cats and dogs, which technically they are. But despite Dudley getting on her nerves, she does care about him, and tries to steer him on the right path. Kitty's voice balances intelligence, caring, and the right amount of frustration, but she's not the best actor or dancer. Snap trap? Blast him! Oh, right, the good guy thing! Number 9, Kimiko Tohomiko, Shaolin Showdown. Being the only girl in the Shaolin Temple can have its disadvantages. Uh, yeah, too much information. Sorry. But it also means you stand out when you're kicking butt as the Shaolin Dragon of Fire, especially when you've got Grey Delisle voicing you, for the original series at least. I'm really not in the mood for this. Kimiko hails from Tokyo, Japan, bringing with her fancy gadgets and different clothes and hairstyles for every episode. Okay, Keiko, I'll email it to you. Is there a net connection around here? But she isn't the dragon of fire for nothing. She's quite the hothead, and that doesn't always help the monks on their quests. But temper aside, Kimiko's a tech whiz, and always loyal to her friends and loved ones. In fact, if you mess with them, well, you wouldn't want to face her in a Shaolin showdown. <laughs> the next one will be perfect. Number 8, Catwoman, Batman Arkham video game franchise. Sorry to disappoint you boys. It's just a little old me. One of the many things the Batman Arkham games are praised for is their voice acting. And of course, Grey Delisle, as one of DC's best anti-heroes, is no exception. As usual, Catwoman is a master of thievery, and an ace at making suggestive comments. Though she may appear to be a damsel in distress, she's anything but helpless. With her lightning-fast fighting moves, claws that let her crawl on walls, and her trusty whip, she's just as dangerous as Batsy. Speaking of which, Kevin Conroy and Grey play off each other perfectly as the bat and the cat, helping one another and flirtatiously teasing through to the very end. Thanks, Selena, for the daring last-minute rescue. It was very heroic. Number 7, Aya. Green Lantern, the animated series. Please define term, beautiful. That must be the AI nav computer. Hello, Aya. Green Lantern's animated series may have been short-lived, but one thing that fans will remember it for is Aya, and that's in large part due to Delisle's performance. Can you convert to manual controls? Affirmative, however manual control a vehicle while in Ultra War. Do it! <laughs> Starting out as an AI for the Interceptor starship, we see immediately that Aya is more than that. She's intelligent and informative, but she's also gifted with human curiosity, so much so that you can practically hear it in her robotic voice. A Green Lantern protects innocent life, even at the risk of their own, correct? She's also capable of feeling real emotions, like the willpower to fight and protect others the way a true Green Lantern would. Like this? Plus, she can even show love for a certain red lantern. Number 6, Vicky, the Fairly Odd Parents. I'll take care of the little darling like he was my own cash and blood. If your parents are going somewhere stupid for the night and leave you with a babysitter, make absolutely sure that babysitter isn't Icky Vicky. Hi, Mr. West! I waxed your cat mobile, swept the cat cage, changed your cat litter, and washed your cat cats for free! This girl is all types of crazy and scary, which Delisle pulls off with ease. 
Though she hides her nastiness from Timmy's parents with her sickeningly sweet voice, Vicky enjoys nothing more than torturing kids, especially Timmy Turner. All right, twerp. Time for bed. But it's only 6.04. Well, it's 9.04 on the East Coast. It seems like everyone else in Dimsdale knows what a terrible babysitter Vicky is. Just ask her own sister. Good thing Timmy's got his fairy godparents to help him stay one step ahead of her. Ironically, she's one of the reasons, if not the reason, he's got them in the first place. Number 5. Frankie Foster – Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends Yeah, scissors. What do you say? I'm sorry. It takes a great housekeeper to take care of a house as big as Foster's, and no one's better for the job than Madame Foster's granddaughter Frankie. Switching gears and showing off Delisle's incredible range is a character modeled after series developer Lauren Faust. Well, having an imaginary friend is not like buying a toy. It's a big response. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just get me a friend, okay? Frankie takes care of all of the house duties, including cooking, cleaning, caring for the imaginary friends, and answering the demands of the overbearing Mr. Harriman. Usually, Frankie's calm, caring, and eager to help, but when pushed too far, or if you get between her and cookies, Frankie will snap. Ultimately, Foster's needs Frankie Foster, not just for the chores, but also as a friendly face who cares for imaginary friends, and can handle blue shenanigans. Really? Yes! How many times do I have to say it? Number 4. Samantha Sam Manson – Danny Phantom Sorry, Mr. Fenton. I was into ghosts, but they're so mainstream now. They're like cell phones. Most high school girls care about being popular, but Sam is not most high school girls. She's the non-conforming goth girl who'd rather follow her own path and have actual friends than follow the crowd. Rather than being a stereotypical dreary and brooding persona, Sam's more of a rebel with gothic style, not afraid to go wild and crazy. I don't know what the big deal is about going to some stupid dance. I don't need to be asked to some dance to know I'm special. I… What? Nobody really understands Sam, especially not her parents, except her best friends Tucker and Danny. But given that Sam had a hand at making Danny half-ghost, could there be something more than friendship between these two? It would only make sense that Butch Hartman's best hero would be with Grey Delisle's best Hartman character. Uh, Danny's upstairs. Uh, lifting weights? Number 3. Mandy – The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy That's when the monster melted the foolish soldier's brain with its heat ray vision. What's more terrifying than death himself? How about the scary little girl that tricked him into being her friend forever? Mandy is the unquestionable leader of this surreal trio, mostly because Grim and Billy are too afraid to cross her, and rightfully so. Mine's fine. Mine too. This game is dumb. I'm not going to play. You don't have to play video games. You could do all my chores if you want. As if her cold demeanor and lack of nose weren't intimidating enough, listen to her low and chilling voice, courtesy of Grey Delisle, of course. With her daunting nature, demanding attitude, and manipulative intellect, Mandy could rule all of Ennsville and the world if she wanted. Home sweet home! What a dump. By the way, if you're ever dealing with her, remember, never get on her bad side and never make her smile. You do not want to see what happens. Number 2. Daphne Blake – The Scooby-Doo Franchise Just once it would be nice if someone thanked us for solving a mystery. Good thing we're not in this to be liked. Who could forget our favorite damsel sleuth Daphne? Daphne went through several voices in the early days of the franchise, but after Mary Kay Bergman's tragic death, Delisle took over the fashionable detective's role and has been voicing her since 2001. Daphne, you're never gonna believe what happened. I can't wait to hear all about it, let's go! Uh, wrong here. Of course, Daphne's still an enthusiastic fashionista, but she's made some changes in her life recently. She stepped up her sleuthing game, using her fashion knowledge to help solve cases. She's also working on becoming less of a damsel and growing more impatient with Fred's trap obsessions. Danger-prone Daphne's come a long way since the 60s, and Grey is a big part of that evolution. So with no alligators left, you decided to make imitation gator products and pass them off as real. Before we unveil our favorite Grey Delisle performance, here are some honorable mentions. Lana Loud, The Loud House Hey, I don't want to be part of some dumb old tea party. I'm going to watch TV. Not even if these guys are invited. <laughs> Thanks, Lincoln! Emily Elizabeth Howard, 
Clifford the Big Red Dog. It's our apartment building, and down at the bottom, there's my bunny Daffodil, and Clifford, and me. Yes, I see. And then there's this extraordinary use of color and patterns and... <gasps> Colors? Yumi Yoshimura. Hi, hi, Puffy Ami Yumi. Souvenir dental impression? Oh, okay, I get it. You, you dig my fang mark. Now quit wrinkling the threads. Prince Puppycorn. Unikitty. Excellent strategy using that dance protocol. Riot levels are at an all-time low. Works every time. Man, sis, that was awesome! Moon Butterfly. Star versus the forces of evil. <laughs> now, Star, this wand is a big responsibility. Yeah. If it falls into the hands of evil forces, the universe could be destroyed. <laughs> <gasps> Don't worry, Mom. I can handle it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Azula – Avatar The Last Airbender My brother and my uncle have disgraced the Fire Lord and brought shame on all of us. To say that Azula is a skilled firebender would be an understatement seeing as how she's mastered not only blue fire, but also bending lightning to her will. Not only that, she's also an expert at manipulating others and a gifted liar. To top it off, she's also a merciless strategist. Just when her enemies are least expecting it, she'll strike them down without a second thought. But underneath her cold and dismissive mask, she harbors bitter feelings of mistrust towards those she once cared about. You're all banished! But Goodbye! Eventually, that mistrust eats away at her sanity, and ultimately leads her to defeat. And only Grey Delisle could perfectly voice this cold character's slow descent to madness. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.